Well, now to a new $2.5 million plan aimed at making recycled water usable. It is a lot of money for a limited application and only benefits one subdivision. But you could say they're getting it half price. Let's get to Channel 5's Trevier Gonzalez live in McAllen. Trevier, what's the scoop? Oscar Christine, good evening. We're told that the McAllen Public Utility is actually the second utility system in the state of Texas to use recycled or reclaimed water for irrigation purposes. Now that $1.3 million grant that's being provided helps pay for the creation of a new water tower in Trace Lagos, one that specifically uses and covers home irrigation and more importantly, won't utilize drinking water. Normally every wastewater plant treats water to, to state standards and discharges out to a ditch and that water's lost. It's gone. In our case, it's actually recycled and reused for both industrial and residential purposes. That is the sound of water from your drains being reworked into something helpful. It's an expansive process that involves intensive filtering and even the use of ultraviolet light. A total of 8 million gallons is released every day from the city's North Wastewater Treatment Plant. A good portion of that recycled water goes to a local power plant, but the Trace Lago subdivision has been using it for four years. At the water treatment facility we visited, staff told us that it was blue piping that represented drinking water, but it was purple piping that represented this recycled water, something we can see ourselves with this purple McAllen Public Utility logo. McAllen Public Utility General Manager Marco Vega tells us they already have plans to move forward with a $2.6 million investment that would lead to construction of a 1 million gallon tank carrying recycled water. But after receiving a grant that covers half, that means more than a million dollars of their budget can go somewhere else. Now the Bureau of Reclamation steps in and says, we'll match you 50-50. We'll put in 1.3 million, you put 1.3 million, and that's huge for us. The Trace Longos area currently has about 300 homes. The new tower will have the capacity to support irrigation of anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 homes, something helpful as it's expected to grow. One resident of the area, who happens to be a professor, agrees that the use of recycled water for reasons like irrigation is important. People do not realize it, but we are at the verge of having water crisis, so if we are using reclaimed water for our irrigation system, particularly for sprinklers and this, we are actually saving a lot of water for our future generations, for our sustainable development in the area. And it's something Vega hopes can one day support even more than this community. We have to start utilizing our water to the best way that we know how. And recycling the water is one of the best ways that we know how to, to take advantage of that. And be good stewards of that resource for future generations. Vega tells me the ultimate vision for this city is to one day be able to provide this irrigated, this recycled and reclaimed water to areas like schools, hike and bike trails, as well as the convention center, including homes throughout the McAllen area. Live in McAllen, Trevor Gonzalez, Channel 5 News at 10.